Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a DIY for you that can go anywhere from Dollar Tree materials to Etsy supplies. We run the gamut here. Uh, so what we're gonna make is air fresheners for our car with essential oils. And I feel like everybody has kicking around their house some type of essential oil. But if not, I even found some at the Dollar Tree. So that's awesome. Uh, my coffee, I think it's pumpkin spice left over in my catitude mug that a co-worker got me. With the black and white cat on it. And it's appropriate, right? So let me show you the supplies and then we'll get started. This is so easy. Mmm. I'm a little chilly, my cold is getting better, and my phone is doing something weird. Well, let's just tell it to look at my face. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna need, all of this or any of it, and you'll see. I have some uh, roving wool. This is just, um, here, I'll pull off a piece. This is just some wool that if you saw my felting discussion, this is stuff you can use for felting. I know folks spin this into regular yarn. Um, yeah, so this has just been dyed, but it's sheep's wool. Some of that. Or some pom-poms. Or from the Dollar Tree, pom-poms on a paper clip. How easy is that? Um, some type of a clothespin clippy something. I picked these up like 75% off at um, Dollar General. But if you see in here, I liked it because there was some larger ones, but they also sell them at the Dollar Tree, which I have purchased, I just can't find. Or a regular size one, if that will depend on the size of the air vent in the car. Maybe some beads or um, the little tassels that come on them. You'll need some thread, some type of a needle, a scissor, and then your fragrance of essential oils. And I'm even going to show you how I would package it if I'm gifting it, which I might gift it. Who knows? Um, so some type of essential oil. And this is the one I found at the Dollar Tree. So let me flip you around and we'll do this. So easy. Cute little gift for Valentine's Day or anybody really that... Um, spends any time in their car because it's winter and everything gets musty and I think this is gonna be awesome. All right, hold on one second. Now, what we're doing, I'm just separating all the materials out on the counter. These were the beads that I, oops, that I got in the hair section at the Dollar Tree. So they're just little wooden beads. A lot of this came from the Dollar Tree. These are the paper clips. They were in the stationary section. But what I did by a second pack, I'm taking off the top, the tassel from this. These are actually going to get used in a different DIY. So I'm going to make sure I keep these handy. I like the gold paper clips. And these are a little more sturdy than a regular small paper clip. So we're going to keep those. I don't need that for this project. But we have some tassels. I have some pom-poms that I purchased. And these were just green and white. I thought that would be perfect for St. Patrick's Day. These are some balls that I created with the felt, and I'll show you in a second how I did that. Um, and I did make two different sizes, but they're just a ball and they're different multicolors. And then this is done for us. This card that came from, you could seriously just, from the Dollar Tree, look at that. It's already attached. And um, you would just slide this right on your air vent and drop your essential oil right on this little ball. But you could also attach other balls to it. So I will show you first what I did. If you have felting materials, I wouldn't go out and buy this, but all of this is available on Etsy. Like I said, this is roll, wool roving. So all I did is took a piece, and there's no measuring. If you're making multiple balls and you want them to be the same, you just want to pull them from the same size piece of the wool. Um, and it just pulls apart. But you take whatever piece size you want, and I tie a knot in the middle, and that's giving me my shape, right? So just tie a knot in it, and then 
you just roll it up on itself on top of that knot. And then the last step, and this is the time consuming part, is you take a felting needle and I'm not doing this in the air because I have been jabbing the heck out of my finger with these things. You just, it's not really something I can do while watching TV, I can tell you that. Because I keep stabbing myself. But you just keep poking it and poking it and poking it until it becomes a ball. Um, what happens is this needle, and you probably won't be able to see it, maybe on the end, it's got barbs. And these barbs lock these fibers together. So you're just poking it like that. I do not recommend poking it like that. That's why we have a piece of foam. And they actually sell leather little grips to protect your fingers, which I'm going to invest in. They're not expensive, but. So you just keep doing that. There's other ways to felt. You could use water, hot water to felt the balls. But that's how I made mine. And it was just something I did while watching TV. And I made two different size balls by using different amounts of wool. I hope that's not blurry. Um, let's see if I can get you to see that a little better. There we go. Yeah, it's just a fun little ball. The wool, I think, will be, it's natural. I think it'll hold the scent better, but it doesn't mean you have to use the wool. There's that. So that's making your own with some roving. Then these, like I said, are just pom-poms that I purchased in a bag. I think it came from Target a couple years ago at Christmas time. And these are nice ones. And then we have this. So what we're going to do, we'll do the first one. You'll need a needle and thread, like I said. Now, if you're going to use thread, which is perfectly fine, um, I would double it up. I'm just taking out a couple of these clothes pins that I bought. These are bigger than ones that come in the Dollar Tree. This is actually a variety bag here of sizes. Um, this is the size you're going to get at the Dollar Tree, which is fine. These little ones, it'll work. Oh, come on. Focus for me today. I'm going to sing to you. Maybe it'll focus. That's the little size. I just wanted something a little larger. And so this package actually came with both. So I'll keep them. And they're gold. Isn't that fabulous? Um, what we're doing, and I'm going to start with, like I said, I'll start with the yarn. I mean the thread. If you're using just regular old cotton sewing thread or whatever, I would go through it more than one time. Um, just so that it's more sturdy. So we're going to use... For the cotton thread, let's do this. Let's make a double stack with the white cotton ball and the pink ball, or the white pom-pom and the pink. So the first step is you just wanna go down to the center of one of them with the needle. That's that, that simple. But you do not want to pull this all the way through as it's thread, it will certainly go all the way through. So you're just pulling, and I have a lot of thread on here because we're gonna do multiples but you want to leave your tip up top and it doesn't matter if the tip is where the knot is or not well on this one it's gonna matter because it's gonna fight me so hang on there we go let's pull you up out of here I got off center with my yarn or with my thread the knot should stay at the top which is what we're doing okay there we go. Let me get that straight on there. Okay, so I'm leaving the tip of the thread up there. And then we're going to feed it through one of the white. And you just want to make sure you're going through the center. You can make this as long as you want. I'm just doing one, like the two. Um, in my car, it's short. My vents are short. So now we have it on here, and you're going to go back up through it, not exactly where you came out of it. You want to stagger them, because if you don't, what's going to happen is you're going to pull it right out. If you don't, if you put it right back through the same hole. Now, here's the fun part. For the first loop, because we're using thread, you want to go through 
No, we're not going to do that way. We're going to pull this up and out and keep it long. I was going to knot it there, but I think it'll be better a different way. So pull it up through here. Now look, if you just left it like that, it would be fine, but I don't know how sturdy the thread would be. So we're going to go through back through one more time. Just pick a different spot and you're watching on this pink one for the um, paper clip. And we're going back through here to the bottom. And this is really just going to kind of help keep it more secure because we're using a thread, which isn't super strong. Now, these should not take a whole lot of abuse. They're going to hang in your vent. And you're going to pluck them or pluck them full of essential oils. But there you go. Now we're up through it. And then the last thing we're going to do is on this, we're going to feed it through the spring here in the center. The needle. Right through that spring. Let it drop. We're going to come down here and we're going to tie the two pieces of thread together. So let me trim it so I can tie them. And then we're just going to tie these in a knot. Oh wait, duh, Lori. This one, you don't need that. We're just going to tie it off. Sorry, this one has the paper clip. I just saw that. I'm like, why do I have two? I don't. So just going to tie it in a knot. Spin through there twice. It's sturdy. The thread's not going to be too dangly. And then just trim off that top piece of thread. And looky, isn't that cute? It's oh, for spring. And this piece here is going to slide onto your vent in your car. And the air is going to blow over the pom-pom. And it's going to scent whatever fragrance you use. Like peppermint is my favorite. However, let's, let's take a sniff of this one. This is uh, from the Dollar Tree. I wouldn't say that these are going to be too great in your home for a fragrance or scent. But I'm sure in a car... You know, where you're kind of trapped in there, a small space. But I don't even know what this one smells like. It's neat because it comes with a little glass bottle and a little glass dropper. Mm, I don't know that I love this. It kind of smells like furniture cleaner, I'm not going to lie. But... That's okay, it was a dollar. It's relax. I don't know if it's gonna make me relax because I don't really care for the smell, but that's okay. And worst case scenario, if you get one of these and you don't like it, soapy water cleans it out, get this label off, and then you can put whatever fragrance you want or blend for your car, and this is a dollar for the glass bottle with the glass dropper. If you, don't, if you buy one of these and you don't care for the scent, which is what I'm gonna do because I don't care for the scent. All right, so this is the first one. Super cheap, super easy. Make a couple of these. Watch this, guys. Stick them in a little bag that you can get there. Throw in an essential oil that you have picked up from somewhere or from your own stash. And isn't that a sweet little gift for somebody? And I would put a tag with it that says, you know, put this in your car and this is what it's for. Um... And with cold and flu season, you could even make one of these with like um, some eucalyptus or something for the colds that people seem to get like me. And um, it'll help in the car. But that's, I thought it was a sweet little gift. So that's this one. Purchased. Same thing I will do with the green and the white. I will string them up and they'll be cute for St. Patrick's Day. Now... Let's do one. I'm going to just show you one more with the larger balls. And we're going to use a wooden bead on this one. So, again, I have this through an embroidery needle. And if you watched my gnome video, this is still threaded from that. <laughs> uh, and you go right up. It's the same exact technique. You go right up through the middle of the balls. Now, because this is embroidery floss and it's the full thickness, I'm not doing this twice. We're just going to go through it one time. And then we're going to go back up. And you can separate them back up through the bottom. If you wanted, 
you could put a wooden bead in between. Oh, should we do that? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay, let's do it. Let's get crazy. So you feed it through the bead first. <laughs> Look at us crafting on the fly. And then you go through this one, right through the center. Oh, isn't that cute? I think so. Now we're going to go back down through here. And then we're going to go through the center of this bead. Right? And then we're going to tighten it up and see where it needs to go. Okay, then we're going to go through this one again. Right? And you just pull it taut. Oh, I think that's cute. And that's how it's going to dangle. You can put the bead at the bottom if you wanted. You can put the bead at the top. You don't have to use a bead. Um, you can also use a full-size clip that I say that, but you just got to make sure it'll fit. And then we're going to go through the center hole here. Um... And we're going to tie it on this side of the hole. And I'm going to pull this through or not. It's fine. We're going to tighten it up. And we're going to just tighten a knot. Doesn't matter. I want this to have some give to it because I'm going to get that knot right in the middle of that spring. And now this just hangs. So in my car, I have a long vent on one side and a short in the middle. And this is going to go on the side vent. And this will clip. And then this just dangles. The other thing you could do is tie the tassel at the bottom. When you're feeding it through, um, and it'll hang and look super cute for like a spring one. So yeah, that is it. And then you just take this. This is eucalyptus, which I think I want in my car. And then you just put a drop on it. Just like that. Yum. I like eucalyptus. The wool will absorb the oil so it won't go flying all over your car. And that's it. Just let it absorb. And then this gets plugged in. And when you, I turn the heat on in the morning, um, yeah, when I turn the heat on in the morning, my car will smell of eucalyptus. Oh, I love that smell. And I bought this oil at target in the dollar spot and it didn't do real well um in my oil diffuser plus with the pets I get nervous with diffusing too much oil in the house um, I run my diffusers with plain water right now just to humidify but this didn't do well anyway you couldn't smell it but in the car it will do great in here oops and that is it that is our air freshener for the car. I hope you enjoy and I will talk to you later.